Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to my review on Doctor Who, The Wheel of Space. Now, I've already done reviews for episodes one to four. I was going to do five and six, but I just really want to get my review straight out of here. It's just straight out what I think of all six episodes. I've literally got all my notes, so as you can see, this is episodes one to three. Then you've got episodes four and five, and then episode six here. Again, I really did enjoy what we actually watched this story for the very first time. Now, before I watched it for the very first time, I never really... I, the only thing I actually knew about The Wheel in Space is that it was Zoe's first story and the Sam would have a whole new design. I never really knew what was happening in the story. And the Tele Snap reconstruction on BritBox has really helped with it. I mean, I normally complain about the loose cannon sort of stuff with... The horrible, horrible, really bad tally snap reconstructions that the that the underwater menace has got, which really did put me off watching the tally snap reconstructions. But what can I say? Here I am doing my review on the whole story of the wheel in space, which I watched during tally snaps and the two live episodes. So, talking about the actual cast, so we got the Simon, as you know. So for the characters, we've got. The Doctor, we got Jamie, we got Zoe, we got Jarvis, we got Gemma, we have Leo, we have Tanya, we have Bill, we have um, K, K Camel, and then of course we have Elton, Amanda, Electro, Chang, and Sean in as the main characters. And I really did enjoy this story. I really do. So part one opens up to really, really well. When I say it really does open up really well, it opens up really well because it opens up just when the Doctor and Jamie had just got back into the after saying goodbye to Victoria after she asked to stay with the previous from the couple that couple from the previous story aka in the Theory from the Deep. I need to rewatch Theory from the Deep actually. I have, it's been quite a long time since I watched Theory from the Deep. I need to go back and rewatch Theory in the Deep and see what I actually think of it again. So I really do like it. So the Doctor really does make the TARDIS come out with a little smoke and running out of Mercury and he knows the TARDIS needs Mercury which is something that the first Doctor said back in the second ever story of Doctor Who, a.k.a. the Daleks, when he pretended that the Mercury was running out so he could go and explore the city. So I like how they bring back the Mercury that the Doctor needs. I think they changed it in Colin Baker's era, saying that he needs Cyton 7, not Mercury. But he ends up, you know, he ends up... So anyway, talking about this story. So when the Doctor arrives on this space carrier, and you've got these very odd looking robots which really do remind me a bit of the quarks in the dominators which is not a fantastic story but Charlton does give the best performance as the second doctor during all five episodes and for me i really think that that story should have been literally four episodes not five it did does drag out quite a lot and i absolutely do enjoy episode one but when the doctor does end up unconscious because I can't remember how he goes unconscious. I need because it was a tele snap reconstruction, not as good as it is on TV. So one minute on the literally on the tele snap reconstruction, when it comes to the picture scenes, and you see the doctor literally get, get something happens to the doctor, and then next week you see him unconscious. It's just like what happened here. So when I rewound it back on BritBox, it's like oh, I still can't tell what's going on, you know. So episode one is okay. It is a bit slow, and it does. Drag in bits, but it's a 6 out of 10. I quite enjoyed it. Episode 2, now we're getting into the really drumming in action, action going on, which is really good. So the wheel crew plan to destroy the space carrier, which has got the TARDIS, Jamie, and the Doctor in. But then, of course, the, they send two people to go out, and then when they find Jamie and the Doctor there, they bring them over to the, to the wheel, which is known as a space station. And the rocket basically is off course, because... When they find out the the rocket was actually aiming for Station 5 and it's been off course for a hell of a long time to get to where the wheel, the wheel, the wheel is. And it's actually quite of a good story. So I don't really care for Jarvis. I think he's a massive dick. I'm sorry to say that. I really do think Jarvis is just a big, massive dick. He's just a dick. He's a big, massive dick. He's a dick. You know, he's a dick. That's something I'm going to say. He's a massive dick. Um, The rest of the cast is kind of good. I do like Tanya, who is Zoe's parent, I think. I think she is Zoe's mom. So anyway, when the Doctor is on board with Jamie, Jamie 
goes around to investigate the rest of the rocket, sees that they've got this X-ray machine going on, and then these kind of meteorites looking eggs end up crashing it into the hole of the of the wheel, which basically is a kind of a good plot hole. And the one thing I have to say about it, this is the very first story we see the return of the Cybermats. Really, because the Cybermats really are literally coming to life in this episode. And you've got this idiot going, oh, look at the little tiny space thing. Oh, how cute. I just put it in the cupboard. It's a Cybermat. You're going to end up dead. And so he's introduced in episode two. So as episode two, and I've ranked it as an eight out of ten. So episode three, as Jamie literally does sabotage the actual X-ray laser. And he goes, the doctor told me to. And Jamie goes... The doctor told you to. Well, I had to do something to save the time. Yes, yes, Jamie. I suppose you're great, right? Yes. And I like the way it goes. Uh, doctor, Doctor John Smith. And the doctor goes, what? Doctor who? Uh, doctor John Smith. And he goes, oh, yes, yes, yes. So it's the very first time we actually hear Doctor um, the name John Smith that the doctor adopts in his third incarnation going all the way into modern who. Which is kind of good. And I like the ending as well, where you got the Cybermen coming through. I mean, when literally... This guy literally spelts this liquid and it melts a kind of foam-like casing over the Cybermat. And the second Doctor recognises what it is. And then... And the thing is, though, on the rocket as well, you've got two cyber units on the rocket. And they're literally talking to the Cyber Planet, which is the very first time the Cyber Planet is introduced into Doctor Who. This story, I've, asked, I've actually marked down as a... 10 out of 10, uh, sorry, 9 out of 10, because I quite enjoyed it. Episode 4, I, again, this now we're going back into the Telestat reconstructions. The Cybermen literally do brainwash these two humans to put them inside a box, carry the box over to the wheel, and then later on in the episode when the Doctor realises that these two people have bought a box over, and when he goes down to investigate, Cybermen are behind him. Bill ends up being electrocuted. I found that completely funny, the way Bill just gets electrocuted. Jarvis is still being a dick, to be honest with you, arguing with the Doctor, and the Doctor is there trying to tell him about the Cybermen. Uh, if I was the Doctor, I would have looked, literally just gone and picked up a big giant fish and just go, look at you, I'm warning you about the Cybermen here, so listen to me. <laughs> I really think the Doctor should have done that, just get a big fish, slap Jarvis around the face, go, I'm warning you about the Cybermen, now listen to me. <laughs> I really would love to see the second Doctor do that. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. I just really wish somebody would just literally got their fist or handle a fish and just gone boof over Jarvis's face for being a complete dick. Uh, Gemma is listening to the second doctor. She's listening to his warnings about the Cybermen, which is really interesting that the doctor's got somebody listen to her. Episode 5. Sorry, uh, so episode 4, I've actually put down as a 10 out of 10. I really did enjoy that one. Episode 5, when the Cybermen are taking more control of the humans by brainwashing them. Uh, what can I say about episode 5 apart from that? Well, the Cyber Planet tells the Simon to move on to phase 6, take over the wheel. And doing that, you've got two Simon already on the actual wheel itself. And then Gemma ends up being killed by a Cyberman after she opens the airlock for Jamie and Zoe to go to the rocket to get the the gadget the Doctor needs. Which is really shameful because they literally, she just they just left and then the Simon come out. And when she ends up dying, the best character, I mean, the only, literally one of the best supporting characters end up dying. And I'm just like, I would have loved to see her literally get, become the commander. I really would have, but she's dead and Joff is still being a dick in this episode. So, you know, in episode five, I have actually put a 10 out of 10 because while she is there, Talking to the Doctor and the Simon Killer. And the Doctor sees it on the screen. And the Doctor is, you know, the Doctor, he is mortified. But he's there trying to concentrate how to keep everybody else on the whole wheel alive. Episode 6, I have to admit, I really enjoyed this one. So when the meteorites, aka the space egg portals with the Simon in, are literally heading towards the wheel. And the, the, they're using their la X-ray laser cannon to shoot into them. And, the doc and Jamie and Zoe are there floating. When the Doctor ends up telling the actual rest of the crew... On the wheel that Gemma's dead shut down by the summit. And Jarvis literally walked down. Again Jarvis is there. 
he does have a bit of a redeem moment thinking, you know what, I can take on the Simon. So he literally grabs his hand onto a cyber, onto the actual cyber helmet. The Simon end up strangling him, picking him up over them, throw him on the floor, and then they literally just killed him with a gun. Like with for the gun on the head where they literally press the cyber panels and he ends up dying. So basically the massive dick does end up dying. Which is okay. You know, I didn't really care for him. I really didn't I didn't actually care for him. I found the only death so far I really did actually feel sorry for was Gemma's death in episode 5. I did feel sorry for her. Because one, she actually said to the Doctor. Two, she took over the space, the command over the wheel. And three, she ends up dead by the Cyberman. And again, you've got that wicked space effect when you've got the Cyberman literally climbing through the rocket trying to get into it. And then when they say the door on her. Let's just seal the doors onto the summon, the summon are there. And then Jane, somebody presses a button and they get flinged back into space. And of course, the Doctor does end up saving the crew, the crew because he takes off the metal um, the metal plate on the back of their necks that the summon using to, to control them. Then again, though, episode, the ending was a bit rushed because one minute you got them on the wheel, then they go back to the rocket, and then Jamie and the Doctor say goodbye. So he says, oh, can I come with you, Jamie? goes, no, it's too dangerous for you. And then the Doctor and Jamie go in. And then when the literally the Doctor literally fills up the Mercury into the tires. And he goes, we are ready to go, Jamie. And then, of course, they literally, he sees Surrey jumping into the little basket, casket thing. And she literally pulls down. And the Doctor goes, <sighs> like that. And Surrey opens up and he goes, ah. And Jamie goes, no, I told you she should. Jamie, if she wants to come, we need to show her what she's going to be in for. And then again, though, when he's there, literally, and he's putting on the thought pattern thing on the tires console, and he goes, Sorry, have you ever heard of the Daleks? No. And then on the screen, he goes, Look on the screen, and I'll show you about the Daleks. And then when her face is, like, horrified when she sees a, da a clip being played from the Eve of the Daleks, the evil of the Daleks, not Eve of the Daleks, the evil of the Daleks, and that's when the credits roll in because a few weeks after this episode aired, they're literally reshowing the Evil of the Daleks. And episode f f six, I've actually ranked as a 10 out of 10. So the weakest episode is actually part one, but then it gets better in part two, three, and then really good in parts four to, four to six. So this story, in a general, I have to say it's a 10 out of 10. I quite enjoyed it. I wish this episode was actually existing so I can sit down and watch the actual Cyberman return. I like the new design. And I love the way the second Doctor is there and he goes, when he's literally there, falls into the truck of the Cyberman and someone comes behind him and goes, I imagined you had orders to destroy me. And the Cyberman just goes, you know our race, you must be destroyed. The doctor goes, well, you better come in then. And I also like the way the second Doctor's there carrying on that conversation and the Simon just keep repeating themselves. You're now out of words. You must be destroyed. And again, the second Doctor just goes, well, you better come in. And then he literally executes the one Simon and the Simon's like, Rrr! and he falls down to the devil. The other goes, you will be destroyed. Others are coming. And he goes out the door and the Doctor literally switches off and goes, Mm, it worked. <laughs> I mean, Charlton is really good as the second Doctor. I really do like Charlton's Doctor. It's why he's my third favourite Doctor. He, The magnetisms of his Doctor is just superb. Just absolutely superb. The, man, the magnetisms of the second Doctor is just absolutely cracking and brilliant and stuff. And I really love the, how he's there unconscious. And then the episode from episode three, he, he wake, when he wakes up and he's there trying to warn the people about the Cybermen. And when he's there talking to Jamie, he goes, The Cybermen are on that rocket, Jamie. I guarantee it. They're on that rocket. I really do like Troughton's voice. I really do like Troughton's manicisms of the second Doctor. But my favourite moment is episode six where he goes, I imagined you had orders to destroy me. And then you've got someone going, You are not our words. You must be destroyed. Well, you better come in then. <laughs> it's just a classic moment and I do really enjoy that I, mean, I like the way he's there talking to Jamie he goes oh it seems I've got some company um, I'd be... and he literally turns off the mind to Jamie goes company and he goes company and he, <laughs> that's when he clicks about the Cyberman and then when they literally get to the doctor the doctor has literally defeated one Cyberman and he goes oh the other one survived but this one's dead I killed it don't worry about it <laughs> I really do like the second doctor 
<laughs> it's some great moments. So for me, I really enjoy, did enjoy watching the Weird in Space for the very first time with the transparent episodes of episodes one, two, four, and five, and then the two live action episodes. Um, the one thing that really did put me off the telly slap reconstructions is, of course, the, the underwater minutes. But I'm glad I give this one a chance because I really did enjoy it. And now I can actually tick off on my list saying, you know what? Yeah, I've actually watched every single Simon episode now. Yes, this one is a telly slap reconstruction, but it's, I still can class it. I've actually watched it. And I did watch the like 10 minutes of the animation in the the Macro Terrace. And when the Macro Terrace um, released, it has a like a 10 minute clip of the wheel in space which is really disappointing that story never got finished in the animation i don't know why that is i would like them to go back and read just completely animate the missing episodes so anyway, let me know in the comments what do you think of doctor who the wheel in space is it a good story for you do you quite enjoy it for me it's a 10 out of 10 i absolutely loved it i mean yes you do have jarvis aka the dick in the first episode and he's just there mouthing off at the second doctor quite a lot of it but the rest of it's pretty good so thank you for watching this video please do like subscribe share and join for more awesome doctor who content have a cracking day tomorrow